What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy Artie Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. Alright, so y'all look, this this is actually the first, my first time in a black cookout video for this, by this dude. I forgot his name already. I just saw it. Dang on it. I was <laughs> I forgot his name, but y'all, y'all know he had me dying on that last one, man. But this was the one that y'all said was the first one. Oh uh, man, yeah, and it kind of makes sense based on what he was saying in that last video why, when he was invited to go to the um, the, the fish fry. But yeah, I, I, whew, I can only imagine what he's about to say now, man. This dude is hilarious. But we're about to get into this. Y'all boys and girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Alright, I'm going to start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field. Yes, sir. Death. I see. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. <laughs> Really understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of like passing a cop on a two lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that, it makes them nervous. Anyway, wait, hold on, wait, what was that? What was that part? They gave me the reference of like passing a cop on a two lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that, it makes them nervous. Anyway, oh, yeah, yeah, nah, 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 for real. <laughs> yeah, nah, we don't do that, we don't do that. I know. I don't know about y'all, but here in Georgia, if we see a cop and he going under the speed limit and he we on the two lane road, we's not about to pass that police officer. We gonna stay right beside him, a little bit behind him. We gonna go under the speed limit too. Hell no, nah, I don't look. I don't want to get in front of you for nothing. Nah, that's hilarious, bro. That's hilarious. I don't know. Kind of lately, I've been a little rebelish. I just I'm like, bro, he going slow as hell. I'm going past his ass. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> He's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Anyway, about a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. All right. We play football together. Yep. He says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Okay. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. <laughs> I like cookout. So I show up to the cookout. All right. As I step out of my pick em up truck. <laughs> already funny he was like yeah you gotta hit me across the face with a wet mop this fool says as i stepped out of my pick em up truck instead of pick <laughs> instead of pickup truck my pick em up truck hell not i realized the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker the napkins and me oh no as i'm walking up i am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great grandma and grandpa and nice. his 47 cousins 47. Right, which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. No. Anyway, there's a long table where the food, where the food, everybody's eating that. Okay. They bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Uh. -uh. Well, they say the blessing, and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off like this uh -huh. with barbecue. Yep. Okay? And I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. Yeah, yeah. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, these two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties. All right. They're two different potato salads. Mm. All right. They say, we want to get your... Your opinion on which one of these is better now mm -mm. apparently just because i'm white i'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise well i ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout good man so i ate both of them and i told them that they were just so damn good both of them I, I good man them. now at this current time i am almost in a food coma because i've ate so much because i didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there uh -huh. and then his great grandma mama t that's what they call her she comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. Damn. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats, all right? Got barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness <laughs> and she wants, she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Now, I saw Friday after next. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. Uh -uh. I'm white, not stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there, because 
She ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess with her. Uh -huh. I finished this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian kycosis. <laughs> food coma. And I did just like this right here. Just like this. I went, whew, boy. As soon as I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. Damn. But somehow, I have... I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stakes spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And now the cards is in front of me and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. None. I got no idea. All right, I'm white. We play go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored. I guess I'm white too, cause that's all I play. I don't know how to play poker, spades, none of that mess, man. I, I, I nah, it just never interests me. One day, literally did the whitest thing possible. Walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk. All right, put it in a bag. Went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we tossed it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the run around idea what the hell is going on with this spades game, I really I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. When they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever, because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock nines hit the top of the table. <laughs> I've got every damn spade you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up and one of his cousins come over and tap me on the shoulder and say, hey buddy, you wanna go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking yep. about. But I ain't gonna piss nobody off. You gotta understand at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of now this is funny and I'm glad I'm watching this right now man cuz uh, some folks just be so delusional y'all so I was at a kickback recently this is about a little bit over a week ago might have been a week ago and I was hanging out with some buddies that's going they just moved to California like two days ago to go do YouTube full-time they're comedian they're, they're actors and they out there grinding I'm so proud of them Lonnie and Moore they're out there right now but I went to their little kickback it's but bunch of black folks Bunch of black folks out here, man. We just dancing, having a good time, got some food, some real good food. It, it's just black music, just everything. And there was one white guy in there. One white dude. And I posted like a little TikTok video. And in the TikTok video, I had put the camera on him, like trying to dance to the uh, swag surf dance. And he was like sitting in his chair. And then in the title of the TikTok video, I put that one white guy trying to fit in which is kind of like how this dude is doing right here and people went crazy people were people were saying some of the most ignorant stuff they're like oh why you gotta make it about race well wait is he like a, he just looked like a human being there just trying to have a good time type of, no i'm like y'all y'all serious this was meant to entertain this was funny he is the one white guy there fitting in the dude had it a great time. People took it so negative, but the dude had a great time. You should you should have saw the man getting up twerking. I mean, he's gay. No, no, no disrespect. No, you know, but he was gay. He was twerking. He was doing splits and just having a good old time. <laughs> but at the same time, it was meant to entertain. That TikTok video. TikTok is a freaking entertainment platform. And I was like, yo, why are people so ignorant? They were like, oh, what if it was reversed and it was a black dude at a white cookout? Same thing, because y'all got to understand, culturally, y'all do things different than us, and we do things different than y'all. And this is exactly what this man is here experiencing. He doesn't know <laughs> what goes on amongst a, bl a bunch of black folks at a cookout. Just like this man in the TikTok video was amongst a bunch of black folks at a kickback. Things, we experience things a little bit different. It could have been an Asian person at a Spanish cookout, or a Spanish person at an Asian. Things are different. <laughs> and you try your best to fit in. So I'm like, for, so for folks to say that stupid mess they were saying, I'm like, y'all, get off my TikTok. Y'all ignorant. Ignorant. But anyway, I get it, man. I know what he's talking about. My ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me. Okay? <laughs> Don't hurt me. Now, I did not know bones meant dice. 
I was leaning more toward dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently, bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. Okay? And apparently when they yell gator, that just code word for white man loses because they just took my money. I just wasn't really down. <laughs> Which is fine. Made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck. And I've got my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place. Now, I get to my truck. I put my hand on my truck to go open it, and there's a, like a sense of relief that comes over me. Like, I didn't piss <laughs> nobody off. Nothing went wrong. I went, whew, <laughs> Now, as I open my door, I feel a tap on my shoulder. Uh oh I turn around. The whole damn cookout is behind me. Hell not. Everybody there is right around my truck with Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me and said, Hey, buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday. You coming back? And I looked at him. Bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming back. Because that's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I've been to all back cookout. But I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit. Because that is the best food you ever going to get and the nicest damn people. I scare shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I, <laughs> but at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. Yes, sir. I'm going back next week. Yes, sir. I told him, I said, y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all want some ice or like or like some, uh, you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him? Yeah. He'll, he'll feel at home. He got wife beaters and stuff. He got wife beaters. Y'all, what y'all need? They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me and I. There we go. I will be there. There we go. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. Shit. Stupid. Ah! Yeah, I like this dude, man. He is funny, bro. But I feel him, bro, 100%, man. Look, I grew up around a bunch of Hispanics, and I'm not Hispanic, and I felt like that every single time they invited me to a cookout, and I've been to a bunch of them. They invite you to a cookout, and obviously they're grilling, you know, they got the carne asada, all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? And they got the coronas, they want to give you a corona. I would feel so out of place, man. And, and that's how it is. If you turn anything down at a Hispanic cookout, they feel disrespected. Oh, you don't want a corona? Uh, 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 the women, they get to looking like, you don't want a corona? You don't want a corona? <laughs> I, I, like for real, like you just just take everything, just as much food as they give you, eat it. It's just all that. It's the same thing culturally, man. It is the human experience. We all do experience things quite similar, but everything is culture. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I definitely know exactly what he mean. I, I would I was struggling to fit in. They're like, hey, they want me to go up there and dance with the young ladies up there. I'm like I don't know how to do these dances, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. But anyway, y'all, look, if y'all like my reaction to my first black cookout, you know what time it is, bro. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the rich is going to be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy right here on the gram, man, Twitter, at Kicks. Till the next one.